So I received a uh, private message from Utool7001, uh, U, uh, the letter U, and uh, he asked me to watch a couple of uh, Slavaj Zizek's videos where he mentioned uh, deep ecology and, and the ideology of um, what he calls an ideology of uh, the kind of return to nature, uh, new age mythology as he put it. And um, I wrote a response to Utool and um, I'll post a link to the two Zizek or Zizek videos um, where he talks about this so you can watch those. You should probably watch those first or else this response won't really make sense. So, um, I just watched the two videos, and I think Zizek raises a profoundly important point. I don't, however, think it discredits what the deep ecologists or Gaia theorists have, and have been saying and are saying. It is precisely the Cartesian metaphysical background and techno-industrial mode of production that have led to the current ecological crisis. And so even as, if we accept Zizek's point that there is no nature, we cannot continue to live upon the planet as though it were a mere heap of inanimate raw material waiting for man to produce it. We should, however, as Zizek rightly points out, not over-idealize the natural world by assuming all was harmonious and wonderful before human beings decided to industrialize. Zizek is right to point to the catastrophic nature of nature. When life first emerged on the planet, the atmosphere was predominantly methane, ammonia, and carbon dioxide. Microorganisms were anaerobic and gave off oxygen as waste. Eventually, there was so much oxygen pollution that these anaerobic mi microbes began to die and retreat underground. But as with all crises, evolution exploited it as an opportunity to create new types of life. And so oxygen respiration appeared in new forms of organism. Similarly, mammals never would have been given the opportunity to evolve into Homo sapiens unless a meteor drove the dinosaurs into extin extinction. I'm sure none of this is news to you, but nonetheless, I think stability is still the norm, contrary to what Zizek says. The Gaia theory is no longer New Age mythology, but quite well respected within scientific circles. The Earth, including all organic matter, oceans, atmosphere, and rocks, is a self-stabilizing dynamic system that regulates temperature, salinity, and numerous other chemical gradients such that life can continue to exist even as the sun's average temperature increases. Um, it, the sun's temperature has increased about 25% since the emergence of life, if I'm not mistaken. Without the self-regulation of the, the Gaian homeodynamic system, life would already have gone extinct. The catastrophes are rare, but the point that they have radically changed life on Earth on occasion is quite true. We are currently entering what scientists are calling the sixth great extinction event, and it is entirely human-caused. Um, Parenthetically, I mentioned climate change, loss of habitat, pollution, etc. So we can say that there have been five major catastrophes prior to the current one on this planet in the last four billion years. This is, this is significant, but it doesn't support Zizek's claim that catastrophe is the norm in nature. Zizek mentioned the ecologists who point out that the Earth has gotten so used to our pollution that if we cleaned up our act too quickly, it might actually cause an imbalance and lead to more disorder. And I think this is a good point. We have to consider the best way to transition back to a more circular economic system rather than the linear extract, produce, consume, trash model we currently operate under before we just drop everything and return to nature. Are you familiar with global dimming? This is a good example of how cleaning up our act actually makes things worse in the short term as the particulate matter released into the air by industry has actually slowed down the warming effect of CO2 by reflecting sunlight before it gets trapped. As we begin to remove more of this pollution, the average global temperature will increase significantly to where it would have been absent this other form of pollution. Quite a paradox indeed. Uh, and yeah, I said I look forward to his thoughts on this, and um, I repeat that here. So uh, thanks, Utool7001, for that uh, question, and uh, please, everyone watching the video, watch uh, Zizek's video. He starts mentioning uh, deep ecology at about 8.45 in the first video link that I'll post, and he talks about it for about half of the second link, so check it out, and uh, let me know what you think.